Hello, my name is Glendon Cameron. I'm here to introduce my... <laughs> Yeah, that's me looking kind of crazy. That was my first video on YouTube. It was a little strange. Sitting there talking yourself by yourself in front of this computer talking to no one. It was somewhat awkward. But this is my first video. August 6, 2009. Well, it's the first one that I uploaded to YouTube because the other ones were really jacked. As I went on. I made a lot of videos, a ton of videos, so many videos, I became really comfortable with the process, but that didn't happen overnight. It's something that took time. I was a storage auction guy, for real, before the television shows came on, before all of the hype. That's something that I did for over a decade of my life. I made so many different videos for strange topics like this one. Stinky units <laughs> make money. They do. Buy a unit for a dollar. Buy for ten dollars, make a thousand. It's a great way to really maximize your profit. Another thing that I did, I made a lot of videos, a ton of videos. At one point, I was making five videos per day. I just kept cranking them out, cranking them out because the more videos that I made, the more traffic that I got to my blog, which was amazing. Because the more traffic that I got, the more books that I sold. So over time, my YouTube thing changed quite a bit. I never thought that this channel would have a life of its own. It really does do something different for me. If you want to start a YouTube channel, I'll give you a little bit more information later. But essentially, this is how I got started. I didn't have a great camera. I just sat down and I started making videos. I want you to listen to the words that come out of my mouth. I guess I'll need to shave. Hold on, I'll be back. Life is funny. When I started my YouTube channel, I didn't see any of the things that happened happening, if that makes any sense. And the journey is really, really kind of crazy because I'll tell you the plan. I was going to write a book. Make some money real quick and then do the great American novel because I still have that concept. I just haven't really addressed it at the moment. But there was another plan. When I started YouTube 2009, it wasn't open for everyone to make money from AdSense. But I've been making money here on YouTube since 2009 because I sell products and services. That has been something that I've done from the beginning. It rubs some people wrong because people are like, I'm just here for the free information. I just want all of this stuff. And I'm that kind of guy that just doesn't give a fuck because how you start something is how you're going to end something. And I'm all about selling services and products. Right now, there are four books for free that you can get if you want. But the larger issue is, or the greater part of the journey, is how I hated making videos in the beginning. 2009, 2010, I absolutely hated making videos. But there are 1,250 videos on this channel now. At some point, the hate the term became determination. It became fun. It's like fun to do these videos. Now it's fun to meet people and it's fun to interact with people in the comments. I didn't see that coming. It was a really huge shock for me because I'm an introvert and I like to be by myself and I like to work in private and I don't like people working when I'm around and it has really brought me out of it. I've done several speaking engagements because of this YouTube channel. I've gotten all kind of incredible opportunities because of this YouTube channel and it just started with that one horrible video that I showed you in the beginning. It was just terrible. It was just terrible, but you can't begin something without starting someplace, and that was my deal. So in 2009, I'm just going to give you the Cliff Notes version. Upload the first videos, then I found that they really 
brought an incredible amount of traffic to my blog, which at the time was Urban Pack Rat. Don't look for it, it doesn't exist anymore. I would get 10, 20 hits a day. I started putting up the stories, the storage auction stories, the Craigslist stories, all of these things. Then it was two, 300 hits a day on the blog. And I was just like, wow, this is like 10 times the traffic. So there's been a great deal of uh, experimentation. There's been so much change with the channel, change of the direction, change of the logo, all of this stuff. And I really feel that I'm just really getting started. So 2009, put videos up and with that kind of like, I'm putting videos up. Didn't know anything about it. Use a, a Sony CyberShot that only had standard definition. That's why you see my early videos with the black bars on the side. Because I didn't know any better. The audio was crappy. The, the <laughs> It was just horrible. It was just really, really horrible. But like I said, we all must begin somewhere. Then 2010, things got a little better. I started to learn some stuff. I started to make better content. Then 2011, that's the year things just took off. I was talking about storage auctions before anyone else online had the blog and everything. So when the shows came on, it was like free marketing for me. I would wake up and look into my payment account and be like, what the hell happened last night? It was those kind of moments. Then 2011, 2012, I started to morph because if you didn't know, I was one of those guys who really bought storage units for real for a decade in Atlanta, Georgia. From 2009, to 2010, 11, 12, it kind of dawned on me, I wasn't buying storage units anymore. I really wasn't selling anything on Craigslist, but the channel was predicated on storage auctions. So I started turning the shit, which rubs some people the wrong way. A bunch of people went boo, and, you know, screw you. We're out of here, we're leaving. And that's just one of the things when you change the subject matter of your channel. So as a word of advice, if you create a channel and it gets some traction, you cannot change what you're talking about because you'll lose the first people who came. And it happened to me, and that's one of the reasons to, it's like turning an iceberg sometimes, but you can do it. It's just really, really slow. Dude. 2013, 2014, I came up with uh, a mindset I've had for a long time. I just gave it a nomenclature of the Hustler Mindset Project. And I started really, really focusing on that and creating classes and courses. And some of the courses were like really good. Some of the, most of the courses were people were like, we don't want those. So that was another learning lesson. But my YouTube journey is really different because it's always been predicated on selling stuff early on. Just that's just been the thing. So it has never been overly dependent upon AdSense because you, you must you have to have a tremendous amount of views or crazy conversion rate to really rock out on that sense. But I like the product model. Like I said, the whole, the channel's been predicated on selling stuff since 2009 and I've become pretty good at it, which wasn't really easy in the beginning. I was so excited for the 100 views or the 200 views because I was getting the 10 views or the 20 views on the blog that I was extremely excited and I became very determined because I liked the results. Understand, I didn't like making videos and that didn't come until almost in the third year, but I liked the results. That was really, really cool. That I was able to just whip out a shitty camera start making videos, start making money online with no experience just because I tried something different and new. And that's what's really exciting about YouTube. There's been many things of, people are talking about Facebook video, YouTube competitors. I don't really see anyone being a real threat to YouTube at the moment because just like I went through my experience, YouTube's gone through their experience. and. They've learned a lot and they have all this incredible data and I think it's just going to get better and better and better because what you can do by creating a YouTube channel and starting to make money, I don't care if it's 50 bucks a month. It's exciting. 
many people don't understand before you get to the end where you want to be, you have to start at the beginning where you're unhappy. And that was my journey because like I said, I think I'm just really getting started. And there are many people who ask me questions like, is YouTube still good? Translation, do I have to work hard? And the answer is, yes, you do. That's the thing. I watched many people over the years who started off just like I did. Zero views, like you will if you start a channel. Zero views. And it takes time. And one of the reasons that I'm very, very excited is it seems that five or six year mark is when people really take off. Because I've gone back and looked at some people that I used to track. And I was just like amazed at their progress. So that's my YouTube journey. Started off as a storage auction guy telling stories of the things that I got out of storage units, talking about the crazy Craigslist interactions, and now there are new stories. I signed up for Uber to drive, and it was only six weeks, but it was a jam-packed six weeks. There's other hustling stories that I'll talk about. There's business tactics. There's free books. There's free courses. There's all kinds of stuff that's here, and it's starting to take shape and form and become something bigger than me which is really kind of cool so if you want to do youtube here's a few tips pick something that you really like or you can appreciate or learn to like if you want to do a youtube channel and you just like hey you want to get a bunch of views you're going to do like gaming or something good luck with that because i don't care what it is at some point it's going to suck I'm a writer. I love putting words together. I love communication. But 75% of writing, I fucking hate. I <laughs> Making videos. There's, a, there's about a 50% part of making videos, the shooting of the video, to getting shots, having fun. Then there, you got to edit this. And there's just a lot of stuff that I don't like, but I like the overall process. So what I'm telling you is, do not get on YouTube to make some videos following someone else's lead. Figure out what your thing is. Always be yourself. That's one of the benefits of having a channel. You can be you doing what you do all day long and you can make money. Now, how do you make money with YouTube? Many people will throw out AdSense. I think that's the least efficient way to make money. And I have videos monetized, but once again, I have 1,250 videos. So even if one of those videos, and they don't, because there's only 200 videos that really make money, the rest of them make no money. But if they only made a dollar, it's worthwhile. So you've got that going on. What's the best way, in my opinion, to make money with YouTube is to use it as a lead generation tool. That's what I use it for. It is, I've been in sales, outside sales, inside sales. Hands down, YouTube is the best lead generation tool I've ever seen in my life. It's just a matter of what you have to do to make it work for you. And that's really, really important. That's why I don't believe in copying anybody. That's why I don't believe in, um, it's, it's yours to make it what you want it to be. And the problem for many people is they don't know what they want to be. They don't have no idea what they want to be when they grow up. They're 40 years old, 50 years old, still trying to figure out what they want to be. Make a decision, stick with it, learn from your lessons. And if it doesn't work out, do something else. What I'm saying is you're going to have to get started. You're going to have to try some stuff. Play around with it. Have fun. Another way to start your YouTube channel is to start more than one channel at once. Something I've noticed. Many big YouTubers started secondary, third, you know, collateral channels. And it's real hard for the secondary or third channel. I actually know of one exception whose collateral channel did way better than his main channel. But the content was super, super cool. Start three channels at once and just play around with it. You've got your personal channel. You've got your business channel. I've got five channels. And I, I do most of my work here and I'm starting putting more stuff on other channels and then I have a Vimeo site and I have all this other stuff because now I love video. But I didn't like it in the beginning. I didn't like it at all. Now, if you want to make money with video, you really, really have to ask yourself some questions. Why do you want to make money? I know it's a stupid question, right? But no, it's not. I had really, really, really 
really small, itty bitty monetary goals. I'll tell you the story. Since we're here and we're friends and shit now, I'll tell you the story. I've always wanted to be that person that could say I wrote a book. It was very, very important to me. And when it happened, it was one of the happiest moments of my life. That was it. The goal was to create the book. That was it. There was this other stuff, the consultant contract, the uh, reality television, all none of that was in the plan. It was just, if I could write this book, put it out and have a few people go, yeah, we like it enough to pull out our wallet and buy it. That was it. Really, really small goals. And when I go through the process and look back at it, it was a huge goal. It wasn't about money, it was about accomplishment. So if you are trying to put something together, focus on the determination, focus on the accomplishment, focus on helping people, focus on being something bigger than you are, then your channel has a shot. If you're just chasing YouTube to make money for the sake of making money, once again, good luck. Because at some point, you're gonna have to deal with the high shit factor. Uh, I've had videos flagged for copyright infringement. I've had stuff taken down. I've had cease and desist letters sent to me. All kinds of stuff. And I almost lost my YouTube channel because I got like two copyright strikes from a certain television channel, bitches, in two days. And I could have challenged it because what I was doing was appropriate because they were reviews, appropriate use of copy, but I just said screw it and I left it alone. Best ideal ever because it forced me to do something different. So if you want to do a YouTube channel and you really, really have no clue I'm going to say, stay in your backyard. If you like to hunt, do a YouTube channel about hunting. If you like to fish, do a YouTube channel about fishing. Because you're gonna have to deal with the bullshit factor. And if you're just forcing yourself to do something you really don't wanna do, it's gonna become tired, old, and you're gonna stop, and you're gonna waste a lot of time, effort, and money. What's the best camera to use for YouTube? If you have an Android phone, recent model Android phone, recent model iPhone, you're in the house. You just have to stay close. If you want to spend a little money, I would suggest 600 bucks to 700 bucks on a nice Canon camera. Most of them will do. If you really got swag, uh, spend 1500 to 3000 get you a camera that you can put an external mic to, does all kinds of stuff, has filters, and you can rock out. But with that, my best video here on YouTube, how to find gold at garage and estate sales. The video camera, the camera is shitty. The audio is a little shitty. And that video has made me almost $100,000 in four years between AdSense and opportunities. So, <laughs> you, you really, you, once again, you got to get into this. You got to play around with it. You have to play around with it because you don't know what's going to work until you really start doing it. Now, let's talk about the time factor because this is the question you want to know. Glendon, how long will it take me to make some money? I don't know. You may be connected. You may have a special skill. I have no clue. And the reason I tell you this honestly is because there are many of you you have an ideal, there's something you want to do, and you've been thinking about that shit for five or six years and you haven't made your first video, you haven't made your first blog post, you have done none of that, and you're just like waiting for that perfect, majestical, mystical moment to occur and the heaven to open up and it's like, oh, and all this happens and then you'll be blessed. What you're doing is burning daylight, you're burning moonlight, and you are screwing yourself over because I saw a video tonight and I have to agree with the guy and it was Kanye West and he said the only luxury in life is time it's one of my principles because see this time that we're sharing together once it's gone we can't get this moment back it's gone so if you have an ideal or something you want to do and you're just sitting around waiting for the perfect time it's not coming you have to make the time you have perfect so that's what I'm saying about doing the YouTube channel now if you have made it all the way to the end this is what I'm going to do for you. And I'm going to recommend a book for you. The $100 Startup. Get it. I read it years ago and there was this line in there that, you know, I thought about. 
It's like because he was saying that people don't want you to teach them how to fish. They want you to catch fish, fillet it, and bring it out and serve it to them. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, I will help you. I'll set it up. I'll tell you what to do, keyword it, do all this other stuff. And I will help you with your first videos. What I mean is you'll load them up. I'll tell, I'll edit you. I'll be your director. It'll be like cut. I'll do all of that stuff because I've got a system set up where I can actually do that. Now, here's the pretty penny. It's time consuming. So this is not something that I can do for free. This is not something I can do super cheaply. I'm just going to tell you, depending upon what you want, what you want, it's going to be 1500 bucks, 3500 bucks, or 6000 If you want that, now understand, I know how to use video to sell stuff. This channel does not have crazy views, but it has supported me since the first 11 months. This is how I make my money. And I don't live in a bad neighborhood. So I can teach you how to put your channel together and to make money and avoid all of the stupid damn mistakes that I made. So that's the deal, that's the offer. I'll put some links up here and I'll put the package and I'll spell it out very, very, clear, very, very clearly. Because I made an announcement a few weeks ago, I'm not really doing with resale anymore. I'm not going on any resale hangouts or nothing like it because I don't do that anymore. Because what? I'm a video dude now. I'm a writer, a video dude. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. And I am sensitive about my shit. But if you want real professional help, I will hook you up and make your channel spiffy, as my girl says. That's something we picked up on in Hilton Head, which is kind of funny. I like saying it because it makes me say it. Just go spiffy. You'll feel better. You will. Spiffy. And just as for shits and giggles, put the shit in the comments. And it's like S-P-I-F, then capital F-F-Y. Spiffy. Put that in there. Don't say why it's in there. And people are like, what? Because I do this all the time. It drives people crazy. But if you want professional help, entry level package is 1500 bucks. Secondary package is 3500 And the, the whoo, mother package is 6000 And I suppose since I put that out there, I guess I need to tell you exactly what you get. 1500 I'll set up your channel. I'll tell you if your ideal sucks for your niche. Because that's where you make your money. It's not how good your production is. It's not how good your camera is. It is your niche. It is your customer base. It is who you serve. That is number one before anything else. That is number one. When you see someone else do something that's kind of crazy and they're making all this money and then people start to copy them, that's a bad policy. There's proven genres that consistently make money. Now, I'll set the channel up. I'll you know, keyword it for you. Then I'll email you the, you know, passwords and stuff. And, I'll, you know, I'll help you with video. I'll help you with logos. Got all that stuff. I got a team now. I got a team. Now, for the 3500 package, I will do the content writing for you. I'll set up your skits and stuff, you know, at least 10. And then guide you and point you. Because this is because it's going to be a lot of time. And then for the 6000 that's set up your channel, set up your Tumblr, set up your WordPress, and create a content marketing campaign for you that will get your business noticed and stuff like that. So, boom. Those are the gist of the packages. And that's the end of video deal. You know, you'll make it on the website and you may see your higher prices, but I'll put up discount links for specials so you can get what I quoted. And you can only get it here at the end of the video. Because I'm going to give you an amazing secret here. This is awesome. Everyone else will tell you to put all the stuff at the beginning of the video. But the strongest conversions that I have are in the video conversions. The strongest ones. Because that means you care. You care. You, 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 ca you my dude or do that. You care. <laughs> all right. This is Glendon. I'll see you in the next session.